Hey everybody, this is SecureMac. In this video, we're going to show you how keyloggers work on Mac OS. So the reason we wanted to do this video is because a lot of people don't realize that Macs can get keyloggers, and they don't know how serious this stuff can be. So we're going to actually demo for you what keyloggers can do on a Mac, and then in a separate video, we're going to show you how you can detect them on your Mac. So first, a definition. What is a keylogger? Well, basically, a keylogger or a keystroke logger is any program that can record the keystrokes that you press on your keyboard. These days, most apps that call themselves keyloggers can do a lot more than that, too. They can record chat apps, they can see what websites you visited, log app activity, take screenshots, and more. So maybe in part because of years of Apple marketing, it comes as kind of a surprise to a lot of Mac users that this stuff even exists on Mac OS, because there's still this idea that Macs are somehow immune to security and privacy threats. But you know, just for example, if you go to our site's malware database and take a quick look, you'll see there are actually a lot of Mac OS keyloggers out there. And that's just the publicly available Mac keyloggers, you know, stuff that can be marketed as for plausible deniability purposes, parental monitoring software, or an employee productivity tool. Uh, you know, so it's stuff that can be downloaded off the internet, paid for with a credit card, maybe has a free trial. But in addition to that, lots of Mac malware variants also have keylogger components. And you also have the kind of commercial grade Mac OS spyware that's sold to law enforcement agencies and governments. Those two often have keylogger capabilities. Okay, so let's take a look at how this stuff works and at how serious it can be. We've installed a keylogger on this Mac virtual machine, and it's on here running now, but you can't see it down in the dock, which is very much intentional. Keyloggers are made to be hard to detect. So say I'm a normal everyday user and I'm just going about my day. I might log into my email, uh, make a note about something, maybe something kind of personal, like a doctor's appointment. I might do a little shopping, enter some personal details on a web form, uh, maybe, maybe do a few web searches, again, maybe for something I wouldn't really want everybody knowing about. And you know, who, who knows what else? I might FaceTime or Skype a friend, I might visit some, some of my favorite websites, some social media sites, whatever. You know, think about all the things you normally do in a day. And then I'm done, I log out, um, you know, I leave, but now all of that activity all of that data is accessible to whoever controls the keylogger. So to check the log locally, like if a person has access to the Mac, physical access to the Mac, you just have to hit a special shortcut key combination and it calls up the log viewer. Uh, and now you can see all of that information I just typed is in there. So there's my email address and password, obviously just entered a fake one for this demo, but if I typed in the real thing, it would be there. Uh, there's a made up credit card number and address that I entered. There's my note with some personal stuff about my life. There's the example social security number I, I typed, uh, my web searches and the websites I visited. And there are screenshots of everything I was doing on this Mac. So again, didn't want to do it for this video, but if I'd been FaceTiming with somebody, you'd be able to see screenshots of that here as well. And this keylogger also has options to send all of that data off of the Mac, so it doesn't have to be accessed locally, it could be accessed remotely. You, you could, if you wanted to have the files sent to an email address or uploaded to a server that you could access. So by now, you can probably see that Mac OS keyloggers can potentially be a privacy and security nightmare. They can be used to steal passwords, credit card info, social security numbers, they can be used to spy on you, and all of that can lead to having you know, accounts broken into, identity theft, financial fraud, even extortion. But at this point, you know, some diehard Mac fans are probably going to say, yeah, but, you know, why are you even telling us this? Like, how would you ever get a keylogger on your Mac in the first place? You know, you'd have to infect yourself. You'd have to give the keylogger all kinds of permissions. You know, you'd have to do something really, really dumb to get a keylogger, blah, blah, blah. We've heard this before. But to be frank, those kinds of objections don't really take into account the way people actually use computers. So just for example, here are a couple ways you could plausibly run into a Mac OS keylogger. Number one, people use shared computers all the time. Families share computers, couples share computers, uh, college roommates share computers. And anytime someone else is using the same Mac as you and they have admin rights, well, there's the possibility they may have installed some kind of keylogger. 
Unfortunately, there's a lot of spying that goes on in relationships. Parents spy on their kids, intimate partners spy on each other, you know, friends spy on each other, it happens. And sometimes that can even be very, very serious. You know, it's not, it's not always just about being nosy. Like a lot of times that sort of behavior happens in the context of domestic violence or abusive relationships. Number two, you have public computers, right? So maybe there's an iMac set up for people in a hotel business center or a coffee shop, or maybe even in an Airbnb if the host decided to make a computer available to guests. Again, if it's somebody else's computer, you don't really know if there's a keylogger installed there or not. You, you can't really be sure that there isn't one. There are also computers, number three, issued by organizations, right? So like a school device or a work laptop. And there's definitely a phenomenon of school districts monitoring students, you know, to the point that Electronic Frontier Foundation even found it necessary to create a surveillance self-defense kit for students. There's also a lot of monitoring that goes on in the workplace where companies monitor their employees, using you know, specialized surveillance software. Some people call it bossware, but it's basically just spyware by another name. And last but not least, there's the actual malware for Mac OS, which is real, which is out there, and which is a growing threat. And in this video, we've been talking about these publicly available keyloggers, but of course there are full featured malware suites on Mac OS that come with keylogger components. So you know that's the sort of thing that can make it onto a Mac via a Trojanized app installer, or bad guys using social engineering techniques, whatever. So again, bottom line, no matter how it gets on there, a keylogger on a Mac is a very serious threat. In our next video, we're gonna show you how to detect keyloggers on Mac OS. So if you wanna to learn to do that, be sure to check out the video. All right, we hope this one's been informative. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. We'll try our best to get them answered for you. And if you'd like more Mac security information, tips, how-tos, Check out our blog over at securemac.com, and of course, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.